Hello there! A few months ago I made a video about this brand new generative fill added to Photopea. Photopea is this free alternative to Photoshop, so that's a big feature. Try to catch up with Photoshop with this AI generated fill, backdrop, any content we want. But that was a very new tool. And now, after some time passed, we got some nice updates and refinements. So recently this tool was switched to a new AI engine. So there's something new in the back end. So today we're going to try it out again and check for results. Like previously, I would try to keep it uh, as real as it is. So I will reduce the editing to minimum. So if I get any strange results from this AI tool, you will see it, you will see me struggling to fix it as well. So a uh, real workflow for you. So how can we use generative fill in Photopy? It's the same tool, so we just need to search for this healing group. By default, at the very top, there will be uh, this tool, Spot Healing Brush tool, but if you extend the whole group, you will see Magic Replace here. Magic Replace look like a lasso because it is kind of lasso. So if I zoom in, and I select the area like her hat here. Rough selection, that's usually enough for AI. All right, we got rough selection, and then at the very top, we got this new content box when we can type what we want here. So if I type red hat, we can click replace. All right, no layer selected, let's fix that. I select my base layer, again replace and processing it may take a while so <laughs> just be patient don't try to refresh the page multiple times and here it is we got a uh, hat replaced with this one let me just deselect i can do it by clicking selection and then deselect here it is we got a new hat. It's not a perfect, I would say, I can still, still seal the old hat, but that's probably my fault. The selection was not precise enough. Let's undo with Command Z, Command Z. All right, that was our first test. We replaced the object. I will give it a pass. Let's try to extend the backdrop. So to do that, I will use the Crop tool and I will try to get extra area on the right side. You must be careful with this use of of generative field because if your picture is too large you cannot really do it so i will actually use this for selection so that's the uh, rectangle marquee tool and then i switch to magic replace and i don't need to draw selection with this last one now because i got selection already so that's how we can use this tool as well and then i want a new content just a backdrop let's say let's click replace and now we are using generative field to extend existing backdrop as i mentioned if your image is too large it may fail you and in my case i got some extra content here but i don't know why it's kind of ending here let's deselect so we can evaluate all right i can clearly see which part is a newly generated here. So I'm not very happy with this one. Let's try again on another side. All right, extending on the left. This time I will select this area using the magic select. I click only on the empty area. Maybe this will give us better result, huh? And again, maybe let's change the keyword to background. and I click replace again. Processing, we are generating the fill right now. It may take a moment. If your image is even larger, it will be even longer. And that's interesting result, huh? That's some creative backdrop here. So it's kind of matched with the original one. And we got totally new object here. And again, a similar problem here, like it's not pixel perfect. This time, because I use a different tool, I got this gap here. I don't understand the gap around here at the top and the left area. I don't know why they're giving me this. All right. 
So we extend the backdrop on both sides, not a perfect result by any means. All right, what else can we do? We can generate a new object as well. So let's select totally blank area like that and then we type dog. Click replace and we are replacing blank area generic area of generic backdrop with the actual object we want to see in the picture with the dog and we got a dog with a shadow and it's matched with this new backdrop so that's a not bad result almost good a bit weird here because of my selection shape but if you zoom out that's a decent dog i would say let's go with the cat again on the left side so let's do it here I select empty area and now we will generate a cut here. Processing, the video didn't freeze. All right, we got a cut. And again, nicely matched with the original backdrop. And by the way, let me just undo. Okay. This is something that you can do while you are generating stuff. I click cut, generate this cut, right? You are not happy about it. Just click replace again. That's how we work with this AI enhanced tools. Very often the first result is not a perfect, so we can just try again. Look at that cut pointing another side. I try again. All right. So that's something that we need to get used to while working with those AI based tools. Sometimes we need to try again and again before we get the result we want it don't cost us any work just time and what happened here the cat disappeared completely let's try again processing did we break it no here's the cat okay that's actually a nice one so as you can see very often you need to try multiple times before you get the result you want so if you look at the cat and dog i generate here it's pretty good if you look at the extended backdrop not very nice all right that was our first image let's move to the next one okay image number two and again let's test some features here on this image we got this empty street here i'll make a bigger selection this time Let's try to generate a car. So now we are generating way bigger object. I hope my selection is big enough. I'm afraid it's a bit too small for the car. Okay, my selection is a bit too small, but let's check out. It's very challenging backdrop to match the object with because the pattern is very very detailed here but i must say it's not bad it's not bad okay that's interesting nice car we get shadow here as well okay we generate the car a bit too small but that's my fault i make a small selection let's try to generate something over here maybe cloud Click replace, there's processing, we must wait a moment. That's normal, so don't freak out. And the cloud is not really nice, it just gave me generic sky here. So I will undo and what? Try again. And you know what? We can be more detailed. This is a very simple keyword. So that's something that I can extend. Again, I got very gener generic sky. Let's type white cloud white cloud replace all right it's still processing and i got a white cloud i'm not very happy about how it's merged with the original sky but i will left it like this so we can see this result and let's tr test out a uh, extending backdrop this will be a bit harder i think so it will be more interesting i make extra space using crop tool and then i will make a backdrop on this side 
we are using the same tool magic replace let's replace this area processing as you can see all right actually i really like how it's follow up with the building the building looks very realistic the walk path is really nice we got a bit of this transparent background left here but it's way better in the first picture okay that's nice how about on the left selection as you can see i can use different selection tools and then go back to magic replace that's J on your keyboard if you want to use shortcut. And I just type a very generic keyword here, backdrop. Okay, the left side. And that's really decent backdrop as well. Take a look, the shadow is matching. We got a little bit work here we can try again to match that better but the new generated fill it's rather interesting i would say that's really interesting result way better in the first picture and this is complex i was thinking this will be totally waste because we got a uh, complex buildings here with patterns and stuff like that but we got better result then with the simple backdrop from the previous uh, picture all right so as you can see, I think the, gener the content that is generated improve, but there are some problems with blending with the original file, like here on the edge of that. So maybe if we use a like further selection, we can have a better result or simply spend some of your time later on polishing those details, all right? So as you can see, it is possible to generate a content with AI tools using Photopy. Photopy is another Photoshop. <laughs> it's rather cheaper or even free. If you want to use it with ads, you can use it for free. So there is alternative for us to use a free software and generate content with AI tools. Recently, Photopy switched to different AI engine. That's why we check this out today. We got a bit different results than last time. And I hope they will continue with that. They will continue improving this tool and very very soon it will be almost as good as the one in the photoshop thank you for watching don't forget to check other tutorials for, for from photopy playlist and i will see you in the next video bye